looks gold, it feels gold. I It's gold, folks. It's gold. That is awesome. A 14 karat gold medallion. out at the lake today I had got uh, off a little early thought I'd have to come out and see what I can find it's been a, about a week or two before since I've been out this lake and so got to kind of work on the edges here and in the middle and see what we come up with so let's get to swinging and uh, before it gets too hot and let's see what we can find Gonna go 43, 44, 43, 44. I'm calling stainless steel ring. I'm not wasting water. Let's see if I got it. Yep. Yeah, 4344 stainless steel ring. Uh, I find more of these than any other ring uh, out in the lakes these days. I'd rather have gold, rather have silver, but I'll take whatever I can get. All right, that's ring number one. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can find here in this lake today. All right, getting an 80, 81, jumping up to a 94, to an 82. Sounds good. Doesn't sound like a diamond, it sounds like Sounds like a silver ring. It's got that high pitch, that high tone on it. Let's see if I can get it scooped up. Ah, it's in the scoop. Ah, it's silver ring. Ah, yes. Yes. That's why it's jumping all around got all these leaves on it yep definitely silver oh finally got a silver ring uh, been digging all these stainless steel rings and tungsten rings and it's always good to get a, a good silver but uh, yeah just jumping around had a high tone but jumping all around because of those rough edges on it but uh, hopefully you can hear me it's uh, definitely a little windy out here I haven't been out here about 10 minutes so uh, that's my second ring done some trash and bottle caps and just kind of working the outside edges of the lake today. And uh, cause I hit this lake about three days ago and kind of did the middle, I hit the middle later on, but doing the outside, I haven't really done the outside edges yet. So let's keep hitting these outside edges on this side and the other side. Let's see what else we can get. I'm getting a 50, 62, 59. It's, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be stainless, but it's not gonna, it's gonna be, I don't know what this is. Let's see it together. Let's see if I can get it on the first scoop here. Oh. I don't think I can ever scoop on the first time. I wish I could. Save a lot of energy. Let's see if I got it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I see it right there. Y'all check this out. Right there. Is that gold? No. That's going to be a... It's paying off to work out these outside edges. A lot of people when they come out to a lake, they just kind of hit the heart of it in the middle and the shallows. I, sometimes I, I, I do that myself, but uh, every once in a while when I know that the front and the middle has been beaten down and, and detected quite a bit and this lake does, I switch over here to the outside edges and so that's what I'm doing and it's paying off. I don't know what kind of ring that is. I don't think it's stainless because it's ringing up higher than a stainless steel ring. 
uh, but it's not copper either so i don't know i have to check on that later on i'll put in the, on the video right here what it really was anyway it wasn't non-precious anyway so let's keep swinging let's see if we can't get a cross today it's been a while since i got a cross so i've only got one this year and it's not truly an episode a water episode unless i get a cross now so let's get one of those things all right let's keep swinging getting something that sounds just like a 53 but it doesn't sound like a pull tab it sounds like something else that's why right there you see that i'm trying to get the deeper water that's why right there it's bringing up a chain well about mid torso deep water just keep working myself on this side going out got that 53 thinking it was going to be a pull tab but it didn't have quite that a pull tab on the at pro has a double hit kind of like a da -da 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 -da. and uh, that's that double d going over that uh, pull tab this one just kind of had like a solid 53 and that's what i look for, listen for a lot of times because it could be a gold ring but it had some static in it so whenever you know static it's going to be a chain most likely but hey it's a pretty chain i'll take that that's uh my what fourth find out here already and I haven't even got to the middle or the other side, so there may be some more good stuff out here. Still ain't got my cross yet, but uh, I'll take uh, a silver chain any day. I'll take a gold chain, but I'll take a silver chain too. So, all right, this has been a good day so far. Let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Getting 60, 65 here. That really sounds like it's something and it is check it out guys a little bitty cross but i'll take it ah now it's an episode well i wanted a cross and i got one keep swinging let's see what else we can get uh out here in the shoulder deep water it's getting a 42 and out here on the side there's a lot of uh little pieces of metal rings up like 40 41 42 and I said, well, I'm just gonna dig it anyway and check it out. I can't use my chest cam because it's underwater. And it's got marking it. I think it's 14K. I think it's 14K. I can't tell, but it looks like it's got some, some gold markings in there. It's got like some diamonds and some colored uh, stones in it. Hey, that's pretty nice. I like that. That's ring number four out here. And uh, I'll take that any day. Man, that's awesome. That is awesome, man. That's why you dig all the signals. And that's what I told myself today. I'm just gonna come out here and dig all the signals and work the sides, which I never work the sides hardly at all. And uh, so, hey, pays off. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else is out here. Here's an 81. Is it gonna be a dime or is it gonna be a silver ring? Let's see. Let's see if I can get the first scoop. Tell you what, it's so murky water, sometimes it's hard to scoop. All right, I think I got it that time. Let's see. Oh yeah, check that out. Right there. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be like a black onyx. Can't tell if that's gonna be silver. Rings up like silver, but it looks like copper, like silver plated copper. I oh, don't tell me it's gonna be a costume ring. Well, waist deep water, got a nice, uh, nice looking ring, but if I think it's gonna be silver plated copper. Uh, I'll look at it a little bit closer here and put it on the video exactly what it is, but it's kind of black onyx ring. It's pretty. Nice ring. It's got triangle looking stone, but uh, I wish it was gold. So let's keep swinging for gold. I'm getting a funny sounding 46 to a 54. Let's see what maybe. There's a lot of trash down here. Let's see. Oh, Woohoo! Check this out, folks. It's a double episode. Can y'all see that? That is another cross. Preacher Digger done got his other cross. I can do all things. Philippians 
413. Check that out. Preacher Digger got a second cross for the day. So it's a double episode. So let's do it again. All right, man. I can take crosses all day long. Add it to my collection of many, many crosses I have. Uh, got two of my friends came into the lake, too. They're behind me back there somewhere. I don't know if you can see them swinging. But uh, they're long time friends. Been buddies for a long time. Been metal detecting for uh, quite a while and hunted with them in the past and uh, hopefully we can get together in the future and uh, maybe if they're watching this video they'll give me a call and say hey let's get together let's go out to another lake and uh, i'll take the treasure dudes with them i'll load them up we'll go somewhere we'll try to find some good stuff but anyway i love this another cross all right man let's keep swinging i only got about 30 more minutes to go and uh before i wrap this up all right let's see what we can find start out here I was out here yesterday for just a little bit and I saw how crowded it was so I thought hey I'm gonna get out here first thing in the morning and see what I can find and I was going to do the beach folks I literally just got here I walked down and got my first signal and it was this tungsten ring right here I can't believe that I hope you can see me here I got my light on my face here but it's getting still dark outside but uh Hey, maybe that's a sign that there's going to be a lot more here. So I'm glad I got, got up and, and uh, came out. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we might can find. Getting a 48. 48 to a 50. Sounds like a, maybe a stainless steel ring. About knee deep water. There we go. That's what I like to see. I got this uh, black stainless steel ring. So that tells me with the amount of coins and pull tabs and two pieces of jewelry plus a couple of other little bitty pieces of jewelry, uh, this hasn't been hit so it may be a good morning. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Getting a 75, 76. Sounds like a penny. But who knows. Let's see. Hey, check that out. It's not a penny. That's going to be better than a penny. That's going to be gold and silver. Check that out. You know, out of all the signals that I hate to dig, it's those 75s because every time it's going to be a stinking Lincoln. But every once in a while, one of these things called a ring will pop up in that place. Uh, this one's ringing up differently because it's got a, a separated shank, so it's going to throw a little bit off there. It probably do that on all detectors, but definitely does it on the AT Pro. But uh, that's ring number three. I haven't been out here 30 minutes yet, and I'm not even a third of the way through the swim area. So hopefully we'll find a few more things. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Getting a 64. I don't know what oh, shoot, it was a ring. I just popped it out of my scoop. Let's see if I can find it again. There it is. Yeah, 60, 64. The light's not working. 
light ring because it popped right out of my scoop. Let's see what this is here. It's so light, uh, has no weight to it all. It must be like aluminum or some type of material. But anyway, I'll take it. It's ring number four, about 30 minutes in. So halfway through the swim area. So let's keep swinging. And we got one more swim area later on today that we're going to hit. So let's keep on going. Yeah, this is going to be one of those Catholic uh, medallions, Madonna with Jesus on it. And it's gold, folks. It's gold. I don't know if it's 10 carat or 14 carat, but uh, it definitely looks gold. It feels gold. I can't read the in, uh, the uh, hallmark on inside the uh, clasp, but hey, I'll take that, man. That is awesome. A 14, 10 carat gold medallion. I'm going to search around in here. Maybe the necklace is still part. The chain is still in here, too. So let's look for it. Let's see if we can find it. If I do, definitely show it to you. So let's keep swinging. That one jumping all around, 68, 69, 71. Jumping all over the place. Definitely gonna be something good. Hopefully, not just a piece of trash, but in the scoop. Oh yeah, check that out. Well, it was jumping all around. I knew it was going to be something good. Usually when it's up in the 60s, jumping around, it's going to be a piece of jewelry. End up being the necklace and the pendant, both. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a 925 chain. And I don't know if the pendant is 925 yet. I can't see anything on it. So you'll see it in the video here. So I'm almost finished with this one. I got a few more passes. I'm looking for that gold chain from that gold medallion a while ago. There's a chance it could be in here. So I'm looking for that right now. So let's keep going to see if we can find it. Well, I had another good week at the lakes uh, this week and uh, went to two specific lakes and uh, man, they were fully loaded. And that's the kind of detecting I like is when you go out there and you can find a lot of stuff in one lake. Met a couple of buddies out there uh, this week as well. And so we had a good time. And uh, before I show you everything I found, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it doesn't do anything other than just puts my videos more on YouTube's algorithm that it picks up. I have a lot of people that watch my videos that don't subscribe. So uh, I would really appreciate if you would just hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification if you want to know whenever a video comes out. But that would really help me to get my videos out there on the algorithm to get pushed out more and more people can see the things that I find. So I would appreciate that very much. But anyway, I got everything laid out on my tailgate. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found on this video. Not a whole lot of trash this time around. Got uh, all my metal stuff, all my fishing stuff, vape pens and lighters, aluminum caps, bottle caps, got one, uh, beaver tails and uh, a lot of pull tabs. And here's all my treasure. Ended up getting one little car, one little Gerber knife, which well, I don't know what this thing is. It's a kind of a, got a cutting tool on it and oh, that thing's kind of neat. Ended up with one, two, three, four dollars and quarters, five, ten, uh, thirteen dimes. Uh, ended up getting a, a key, some type of tooth. This is really weird. Is that a tooth? Y'all know what that is? Uh, it's not metallic, but it came up in my scoop anyway. I don't know what that thing is. That's weird. I uh, ended up with ten nickels and then five, ten, fifteen, eighteen pennies. So, pretty good amount of change there. Here's all my earrings. Got a lot of hoop earrings. Found a lot of those. And here's all the stud earrings. I even got one pair. It's not often you get the same set, but I got it this time around. Some type of something. I don't know what that is. Ear gauge or, or I don't know what that is. That's weird. Then another big earring. It's got two different sides on it. And then a belly button chain i guess that's what that is uh belly button chain a couple of kids necklaces uh, uh there's a bracelet there another bracelet right here i got some type of snowflake uh, snowflake necklace 
a lion's uh, first time I've ever seen that <clears throat> in Texas my big old dog tag there the Detroit Lions could be the Henderson Lions that's where I graduated from and that was our logo as well uh, got a couple of crosses yay this time around this one here is sterling it is 925 this one's stainless steel and then check that out this has got to probably be my find of the day it says 14k I don't know if you can read that right there let's see if I can get the light just right right there 14k and that's a big old hunk of gold right there I'm glad I got that one so there's my religious stuff. I did get a silver chain here. And then I got another silver rope chain. And this one has this cool looking little feather on it. You flip it over. And it also is silver. So it's not often I can find. I found this first and found that second. But I found them right there close together. So I know they went together. Uh, here are my rings. I don't know what type of metal these are. These are probably just gumball machines. I don't know. Copper or aluminum. Here's my stainless steel rings. And then I got a silver plated with some type of stone ring in it. Really cool looking ring. Then I got this ginormous tungsten carbide ring with some diamonds in, in it. That thing is huge too. I bet that's a 13 or 14. I got a James Avery, like a leaf ring. Then this is a, a Disney. This is gold and silver. It says Disney on it, ring. So I got that one. And then I got a 10 karat gold. I don't know if this is a mother's ring. And has all these different colored stones in it. But that's 10 karat gold. There. So ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings this time around. So had a good haul this time. Check all that out. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure, my friends, isn't what you can go out to a lake and detect and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up and show a YouTube world. The greatest treasure, my friend, is up in heaven. So keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.